am Shantae Marie. Yes, I am. And as you can see, this hair tutorial is on this style. Yes, it is. And it was inspired by one of my videos that went um, viral. It had some comments on there. And um, I just wanted to go ahead and make another video to where I can add some versatility in that same method. And that method was um, breakless crochet method, but that was only for one part. Today I will be doing a versatile crochet, um, and this is without the braids, okay? And the way how I will be sectioning off my hair, it will be so that can, you can achieve a ponytail for one, so if you have longer hair, I love my hair short, but if you have longer hair, you can have a high bun, but because my hair is short, I will be having a low bun sometimes, and then the versatility is with the part as well. I love my side parts, but also if you want to achieve a middle part and another side, so the opposite side of this one, then you can go ahead and use this, um, this method that I'm about to do. So this is for those who do not want to braid their hair or they want less tension on their scalp. And if you're doing it for yourself, this is an easier method versus having to depend on someone um, at home to do it for you, okay? So without further ado, thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you can, please share. The more the merrier to um, watch this video and I hope I can help some of you ladies out there. If not, go ahead and please critique this video and leave your comments below if you have any advice for me or if you have any um, requests of a video that you would like for me to put out there, please go ahead and comment below.
sold out, right? We remember, keep in mind, we are doing versatile crochet braids without the braids, okay? So these rows act as if it's a cornrow, but instead of the cornrow, it's just a uh, rubber band. Okay, why say why the rubber band? Okay, so you know how braids are very secure? The rubber band will secure your, your hair. So say if I, if I didn't use this and I only twisted my hair, then the, corn, the crochet hair can just come off and also the, the elastic band allows longevity for the hairstyle. Also in my previous video, I had um, some viewers ask me, oh, how long did the hairstyle last? Or what happened if um, it slips back? So these twists um, and pre-sectioned out here around the perimeter allows me to put in crochet hair and the hair will stay in place around the perimeter. So if I do want to go ahead and pull my hair up, it won't be sliding back. The first video that I did, it was only for a regular, vers uh, not a versatile, regular crochet braid, which is you only have one part. This one I'm gonna have multiple parts. So one side part, a middle part, and then another side part. Okay. So these two, I'm gonna have hair coming from here, hair coming from here so I can have a side part, okay? And then you wanna go ahead and do that for the whole perimeter because we wanna do ponytail as well. This big section, it doesn't really matter. You can put it into a, a big bun, um, but I want mine to be flat, like how this is flat, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I moisturize my scalp because this is a big section versus here, I can easy, easily access that so I can moisturize it afterwards. But before I tuck this hair away, I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my scalp. I also left out a part back here, so whatever I need to lay over the rest of the hair, it won't slip back, okay? So this is how I have it so far. And again, you want to make sure you are moisturizing your hair because it will be um, under fake hair. And you want to make sure that the health of your natural hair is fine, especially the ends. Again, I added my Swank Organics Hair Growth Cream. And then I will go in on my scalp and I will use the liquid Mega Growth. <laughs> Get into it. Get into it. <laughs>